Hey guys, um, so we are currently on set filming our 35th anniversary. Um, so these couple of episodes are set on a boat, I know right? Um, and this is because Mick and Linda's pub, the Queen Vic, won London's best pub 2020. So we're all on a boat to celebrate that. Um, there's loads going on, loads of dancing and drinks and loads of different character stories are just intertwining. Um, but of course, it's not gonna be plain sailing on this boat. Okay, so today we're at the underwater tank and we're filming all the scenes with Mick and Linda. This is a storyboard which I've done for one of the scenes where Linda comes in looking, looking for booze basically. And um, the idea is she comes in and just as she goes to reach for the bottle of wine, that's when the impact happens on the boat. And uh, because of the way this set's built, hanging from all these winches, we were able to swing the set into something solid so that uh, the whole, you know, everything comes off the shelves, she falls over, gets on the floor and gets knocked out. So, what we're shooting today is, um, it's the second day, my second day in the tank. Basically, my L is trapped in the kitchen area with a foot it's wedged in between these units and the water's rising and we're on the verge of a divorce and we're not in the best place but of course Mick being the hero decides to come to the front and save his wife and save our lives and in order to do that I've got to snap her ankle so we're going to do a little bit of that today and of course she's under the water so I have to dive down and give her breath and then come back up like the hero that I am. So at this point, at the point of the party boat on the Thames, I'd say Linda and Mick's relationship has never been in a worse place. Um, Linda has served him with divorce papers. Um, this is due to her alcohol problem primarily and she's reached a state of sort of high paranoia. Um, it was really exciting yesterday and, and quite epic. I've never done a day's filming underwater before and uh, it was, um, it felt really good at the end of the day. It really felt like we'd achieved something and I was really glad I was doing it with Danny because you sort of do hold on to each other in those moments because it's, it's, it's a bit scary. The worst thing for me actually is because I am blind as bat and I can't wear my contact lenses underwater so I've got my specs on at the minute and actually when I'm under there and I've got my eyes open I can't see anything or anyone so um, I mean it's, it's blurry for everybody I know but it's really blurry for me so it's just the sense of not being able to see where I am what I'm doing and kind of trusting that someone is there and is going to pass me something so that I can breathe. Uh, so this is the locker room that uh, Dennis gets trapped in. Uh, Ian has locked the door from the other side. Not really, just acting there. Um, and uh, what he's going to have to do is try and rescue Dennis because he accidentally drops the keys in a surge of water that we're going to do. Um, these, uh, these come out, the roof pieces come out, so once we raise the water, in fact we lower the set rather than raising the water, um, as it goes down there are escape routes so that the whole thing is safe. So this is Dennis's locker room. So we've shot everything that we needed to at the tank uh, where it was nice and warm and now we're out here in mid-January on the Thames at night and uh, it's cold, it's wet, it's windy, um, but it's great fun. The cast are all really pleased to be here. We're pleased to be here because it's just nice to see London. You know, it's EastEnders after all and it's set in London and um, here we are with the classic London view. Tonight, Ricky and me get out into the Thames. We are actually there in the raft, in the Thames, the very real Thames. Yes, and uh, two uh, stunt doubles, Danny's stunt double and Kelly's stunt double, will actually be in the water. Yeah. Braver than me. And we those guys will be saving rescuing them. their lives. In the Michael! <laughs> well, 
one of the most striking differences from the water tank to here was how warm it was. Yeah. It was like a bath and uh, uh, it was very obviously safe environment. We've got all the safety procedures here, but it's still in the Thames and it's freezing. But um, And it's choppy. And it's choppy waves. And uh, it's raining, for yeah, real. Yeah, it's raining uh, and windy yeah. and uh, dark and uh, spooky. And we haven't been out there yet, so at this point we don't even know what's happening. Yeah. And That's the plane, London City Airport. London City Airport. Right by us. Yeah. I feel very, very, very proud to be part of the 35th anniversary because yeah. I think this is an amazing show. It deals with amazing topics. It has amazing characters and it's really standing the test of time. There's people before you, there's going to be people after you, yeah. but carrying the torch for this leg is uh, really special and to hit this milestone is lovely. So with this 35th anniversary episode, we wanted to tell a story that was spectacular, that was epic, powerful, but most importantly, it's, it's an emotional uh, earthquake for the entire community of the square. And we really wanted to celebrate as well what was brilliant about EastEnders uh, and, and has been for the last 35 years. Uh, it's, it's London, it's iconic. I mean, we are all really conscious of the ever-changing landscape of TV drama. There are hundreds of dramas out there on the Esfold services, on BBC, on ITV, you know, who are vying for people's uh, attention. And we want EastEnders to stand its own amongst all those competitors. We want it to be ever ambitious. We want it to be gripping, as gripping as any other drama on TV, and to have the production values which uh, enable it to hold its own. And I think this kind of week really, really proves we can do that.